Right now at the Museum of Glass in Tacoma, we are having an exhibition called Caution Fragile. It's a collaborative exhibition between myself and three of the master glassmakers from the Waterford Crystal Factory in Ireland. The exhibition focuses on the skills and expertise and beauty of cutting glass and engraving, which is very synonymous with the type of glass that has been produced in Ireland for hundreds of years. Greg Sullivan started at the factory um, at age 19 as a young apprentice. Greg's style is a narrative style and these pieces tell the story of both his apprenticeship um, in the factory and also the life that they had um, when they were living in the factory. Everybody in, uh, in and around Waterford was um, very proud and, and happy to work at the factory and at the height of its success there were up to 4,000 people working there. This piece called The Glass, which was what the factory was known as um, by the local people. Greg illustrates the var various buildings that were significant within the town. At the height of its success, 4,000 people worked at the factory and you can just imagine at 8 o'clock in the morning that many people filtering in and out of those buildings. This is a series called Soft Rain and it's about um, living in the rain in Ireland and part of the reason why we have such a beautiful landscape and such green lush pastures is because we have so much rainfall. Reminiscent of those beautiful um, green hills that we have and then the raindrop that sits sliding is perched on the surface of the glass. This group of pieces came out of the idea of actually working with historical objects from the National Museum in Ireland. And I wanted to go a little bit further into the archaeology of Ireland and to think about the culture of where we came from as a people. And indeed, Waterford itself was known as Verde Fiorda. It was a Viking city established by the Vikings. It's actually older than Paris or London. These pieces carry Irish proverbs in the Irish language copper wheel engraved by Eamon Hartley, who was one of the um, master engravers from Waterford. Eamon Hartley became the head of the engraving school within the company itself, and he also nurtured and mentored a lot of very young people. We wanted to use these implements as symbols of um, both uh, warfaring because we feel we have a battle on our hands, but also as symbols of honour because of the honour that is um, really wrapped up in the whole tradition of our heritage in cutting and uh, engraving in Ireland. And this one, for example, the first one, Molanoige agus Tukashiad, means um, praise the youth and they will flourish. The idea behind these pieces are taken from a very iconic piece of metalwork um, from the medieval period, the 3rd and 4th century um, in Ireland, known as the penannular brooches. They were um, semicircular brooches with a pin that fed in and out that kept cloaks together during that, that period. And um, Eamon Hartley has copper wheel engraved these with various scenes from the time of being in the factory. Eamon is a passionate uh, cyclist and um, the idea that he rides the wheel of the copper wheel and also the, the wheel of the bicycle um, is captured in this particular piece. These pieces are taken from a collection of um, bronze bells which are known as St. Patrick's Bell. This one is victory over demons and inside there is a tiny bird which has been carved out of one solid piece of glass. Honour, defend, attack, again taken from spear forms from the National Museum, very synonymous with Waterford Crystal, this very bright, um, clean, clear glass. It it's really is a signature of the kind of style of, of Irish glasses, is using no colour whatsoever and just using the refraction of the glass. This was also one of the pieces that we used as a sound element in the original recordings that we made with musician Liam O'Neill Lee. And um, by stroking the, the piece with the small stroker, it makes a, a beautiful rattling sound.
These are also part of Incantation, which is the name that we have given to all of the pieces um, of music that we have created um, through using glass pieces. These pieces have a very, very fine membrane on the base of them and came from a, a, a small a Japanese toy known as a yop yop. And by, f by blowing into these pieces, the bottom of the membrane flexes and makes a very terse sound. These pieces we've, um, we've called Drone and um, again it, it's reminiscent of, um, of both the factory and our culture of music. We have a beautiful instrument called the Bauron which is a drum. That, that cacophony of sound of both um, glass making and glass cutting um, created an atmosphere within the factory that was you know, so identifiable as soon as you walked in. These two pieces are called Call of the Valley and they are both horns that um, create m more sound. This one has a very uh, strong, high-pitched sound. And these pieces, um, again, are about announcing um, that there is a fantastic wealth of skill and virtuosity still exists in Waterford, even though thousands of people have been laid off and do not now use that skill. Um, we wanted to show it's possible to make very beautiful glass, we just need the facility and the, um, the possibilities to actually have that opportunity to make glass with them.